So check this out. Cinnamon has now become an official flavor of Ubuntu. Let's check it out. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I want to cover an announcement that I saw not that long ago that's dealing with the cinnamon version of Ubuntu and it's called Ubuntu Cinnamon. Let's hop over to the website so I can show you guys what I'm talking about but uh, this announcement was released about two days ago. It's by the head developer of Ubuntu Cinnamon. This is UbuntuCinnamon.org, and I'll have the link down in the description of the video. I haven't really covered this distribution on the channel, but I definitely want to do it in the in future. But if you guys didn't know, this Linux distribution was built by a young kid, <laughs> which is super dope. His name is Josh, uh, just like me, uh, Joshua Paysack, and I don't want to mess up your last name, man. But uh, two days ago, this article was released, this announcement was released, and it's super dope. You know what I'm saying? This kid, you know, started developing this thing in like high school, I believe. Uh, and the community has grown around this project. And so I really wanted to highlight it right fast uh, because he had a great announcement that he received like two days ago. But let's go down and read through it. Uh, it basically says, uh, hi everyone, I'm super thrilled to announce that Ubuntu Cinnamon is now part of the Ubuntu flavor family. And if you guys didn't know, uh, Ubuntu has a couple different flavors of their desktop linux distro and those flavors are mainly broken up by the desktop environment that's uh, being used on top of the base ubuntu system and that's essentially what this kid did with this uh distro uh he basically took the ubuntu base and create his own linux distro created a community around this distro you know highlighting and featuring the cinnamon desktop environment which has a big community around it and like you said, this is such a milestone, not only for me personally, but also the Ubuntu community. And this is his uh, personal statement. And he says, four years of my life for this. I couldn't be happier. Uh, Ubuntu Cinnamon started as a small idea in my head in 2019. So it came out, came out around 2019. I was 11. Check that out. Look at it. 11 years old. He started, you know, he came up with this idea for this. Um, I didn't think it would be easy, but I didn't think it would be as challenging as it was. A lot of hurdles were overcome, but with this experience, I spoke at Fostum 2022, got accepted to one of the best schools in the United States for computer science and congrats to you, man. Uh, I hope you, you know, kill it in college. You know what I'm saying? That's super dope, but 50% uh, acceptance rate. So that's dope, man. And gain flavor status yeah and he says define so many odds define the haters uh i didn't do it we did it this is not just me who made this happen this is a community effort it does not matter who you are your origin family religion or age you can do anything and thank you everyone and that's a dope personal statement you know what i'm saying I, I definitely agree with that that's one thing about the linux community that i really like it doesn't matter who you are your background if you like linux you like linux you're welcome in the community if you use it you know what i'm saying and and uh you can help develop on it it's it's open open source at its finest at the end of the day and then he says uh let's make 2304 awesome and that's you know one of the things i wanted to kind of highlight uh, but anyway, this comes from the lead developer. That's his Twitter. You can check that out. That's his status from from his Twitter. But he said, let's make 2304. Awesome. And that's when they're going to release the beta version of Ubuntu Cinnamon. It says you can help by testing images that spin out, especially the beta image coming out by Thursday on the official Ubuntu ISO quality assurance tracker uh, when the test cases for Ubuntu Cinnamon are created so definitely look out for that you know what i'm saying uh and you know 20 2304 is coming out pretty soon so this is an awesome announcement I, i'm i'm excited to actually see it i want to check it out for myself you know what i'm saying really support this guy this young kid but he says what will change because there's been plenty of people following this project i've followed this project uh a little bit i just haven't done any videos on it 
But he says, for the most part, nothing. The user experience will continue to be the same, if not better. There will be more quality assurance as the tracker is being set up, images are built daily, and a lot of infrastructure is provided by Canonical. Yeah, and that's one thing, you know, working with uh, Ubuntu, if you have an official flavor, you know, you get that infrastructure. They'll allow you to help uh maintain the operating system now it says for not for new developers in ubuntu software such as the new flutter based installer ubuntu cinnamon will follow the, the ubuntu desktops footsteps too so that's dope and then he gives his special thanks down here so shout out to you man definitely shout out to you bro this is a a good win for your project and i really you know i'm glad you actually were able to do this you know over the time that you did it you know what i'm saying so shout out to you man but here is the email the, or the email he received so you can check that out if you want to i'll put these links down in the description but just to show you guys um and like i said earlier there's a bunch of different uh ubuntu flavors and i just wanted to go through them but he'll basically be added to this list of flavors official flavors and you can check them out but kubuntu i think i covered that one that's the kde plasma version uh lubuntu which is the lxqt version and all these different flavors have their own communities behind them i think that's why you i think ubuntu went did a good job by going that route you know breaking all their Ubuntu desktops up into different communities because uh, there are plenty of com plenty of people that are in all these different communities uh, centered around these desktop environments. So it's super dope. But Ubuntu Budgie is one. Ubuntu Kylin, uh, which is super dope. It's just specifically for Chinese users. That's dope. Um, and then Ubuntu Mate, I covered that one. Ubuntu Studio, I definitely covered that one. Uh, but this one is dope. If you guys haven't heard of it, it's developed centered around uh audio visual you know music uh streaming all that stuff so ubuntu studio is a good one to check out uh ubuntu unity and this is for those fans of the unity desktop i've been around linux for a long time uh using ubuntu and i remember when a lot of people hated when unity uh took over as the official desktop environment uh, they were trying to get away from GNOME. A lot of people were upset when that happened. You know what I'm saying? But then a lot of people started liking Unity. So they made it its own flavor for those people that still like Unity. I like Unity too. It's it's super cool. It's slick and everything. Uh, so I definitely recommend you guys check that out. Uh, and then Zubuntu, my favorite. Anything with XFCE, you know, that's Ubuntu base or Orch base, you know, with xfce on it you know i really enjoy those desktop environments and that's mainly because i love xfce that's my favorite desktop environment if you guys been around my channel you guys know i like xfce but yeah um official flavors you know of ubuntu uh cinnamon will be one of those so congratulations to uh young josh who created the ubuntu cinnamon and had it accepted as an official flavor of ubuntu your determination and passion and hard work has paid off in a big way and also your success is a testament to the fact that age is just a number and that anyone can accomplish great things with the right mindset and drive you have shown that even a young person can make a significant contribution to the open source community. So thank you for sharing your amazing journey, you know, with all of us that saw your blog. And I look forward to seeing, you know, all the things you can accomplish in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the comments below. And of course, keep it techie.